My buddy Lance Jacobic, okay, and Lance is guys? Lance is the dude who helped me build the skid in the back of my truck earlier this year. Upon his insistence, he okay. didn't, he wouldn't let me have it any other way. Freaking horse flies! Uh, but Lance is out here with me today, making a guest appearance, and we got four projects to do on this beautiful muggy hot Saturday. We'll show you what we're doing. First, we got this church, then we got a two-family, then we got a single family, and then another single family. So we're gonna have a good day, and we'll show you what's happening. Right, in I just got a big Lance on the back of the church in rinse mode. Uh, Lance and I met through YouTube in the winter uh, this year in the new year and uh, he lives about 45 minutes away from me south and has opened up his own company part-time called Pure Pressure in Preston, Connecticut and uh, he's taken the time to buy the right equipment and he's doing a good job and uh, again he's the one that built that skid for me so you know, he and I are getting together on a few projects here and there. And he's out today to just get a little practice with my equipment and see what kind of upgrades he might want to make next. It's been a pretty good year around here for frogs and toads. Shoo them along. Rinsing with the X-Jet is the trick to getting lichen and debris off of your gutter. Okay, gutter cleaning is scheduled here for the fall. We'll be taking care of that for them. Not, not right now. But we have heavy lichen all on the face of this gutter. A little X-Jet gives you a little pressure when you need it. All right, the little country church is done. This is an easy project for us. It took a little over an hour. Actually ran out of water a couple times here. Another slow moving well. My five gallon 5.5, which runs at six is uh, too much for a lot of the water sources around here, even though I got a 100 gallon buffer tank. So we may be looking to make some adjustments to that for next season, looking into maybe a 150 gallon tank, see if that doesn't resolve it. Anyway, we're off to the next one. Vance and I are set up on the second job and that guy's on the hop for me. He's already got a sign out. He's got my water hooked up. He's over here pulling my, pulling my hose around the house. We got the ladder on the house. I'm going up there with the leaf blower. They're blowing out the gutters and giving this little ranch a quick wash. It has one very dirty end, and we're going to do a quick little time lapse over there. Dirty end, I'm going to do a little time lapse. It's quite dirty if you get up close, and it's uh, officially raining out here. So I'm going to set up my camera, and hopefully it doesn't get too wet. All right, Lance and I are set up on the third project. We got a gutter cleaning and house wash on this Victorian home in this nice old street in Killingly, Connecticut. It's one of the main drags, all big old houses all the way up and down this road. So we'll get a sign out here momentarily. And I got the 32 up there and we're ready to get in, get involved. Oh, pretty good, these gutters are hammered. On this side, there's all this growth up by the chimney. And uh, Lance went up there on the ladder like a spider monkey we tried to pull that down but to no avail we did get a piece of it to come down but so we're just soaping and rinsing nothing special happening here we got the gutters clean and we're just uh two sides soaked and lance is over here on the back side rinsing away came out beautiful it was very dirty on this side didn't get a before picture but this baby blue siding comes out nice. All right, Lance and I are out on the fourth project of the day. It's a little cape house. Uh, it is an investor friend of mine that builds and flips houses. And he's got this one sold and of course it's dirty. So we're gonna take care of it real quick. We got a funky little porch up in here. We gotta climb up over the rails and he's got the 24 right there right now. And then uh, Lance can climb up there when we come around. Finishing up the last final rinse on this. Wound up having to go up in over this ladder and 
really uh, X-Jet this deck off real nice. Old wood is pretty moldy up in there. It took a little longer than I expected. Lance is doing some final rinse and we got one more project for the day. And I are out here on our fifth project of the day. And we got this little duplex uh, cape style home. Uh, pretty dirty on this north end under here. Uh, we just did gutters on this building and let me show you the snail tracks. Here we go. M5, a little less than 1% on the SH dial. Nice thin eliminator soap. And this will dwell. This is the third side. I soaked two sides completely already. I'm soaping this third side. Then I'm going back to the other end where I started. And by the time I come back here, this will all have disappeared. Just like that, it's clean. Go on the gun. and I are out here on a surprise sixth project for the day. We got this little Kate style home, ranch style home, brand new construction. I met a guy a couple years ago that builds houses. He's got three or four in here and he flips houses. So one of the house we did earlier today was a flip for him. And then he said, hey, I got another one. You want to do it? I said, sure, we'll do it today. So we're out here. This house is not even dirty. Just has construction dirt and grime on it. So I turned the SH down nearly off and gave another little half crank on the eliminator or basically do a soap and rinse on this house with a little bit of shock in there in case there's anything organic. And this should go real quick for us. Lance is on the second side of the house soaping already. All one level. Gutters are spotless. So again, quick easy one to have thrown in. Right, so this new construction has this stamped concrete with like this dye or something in it and they evidently sprayed it on here and they got it all over the siding and house washes and taking it off so I had a little one restore on the truck I put a little bit of water a little bit of one restore in a bucket with a brush I'm putting this right on by hand and it's coming off as I wipe it. So really glad I had this on the truck. That this wasn't even coming off with pressure. Lance and I were hitting it pretty hard with the X-Jet. And it wasn't coming off at all. I'm just taking it right off these PVC pipes. That's coming right off the siding. So that's a, I haven't used this one restore before ever. I bought some earlier this season, thinking I might have an occasion to try it. And here it is, I'm impressed. I think that the builder is gonna be happy too. And that's another confidence builder for me, knowing that I can rub something like this on here and have it come out so good I'm not a big fan of brushing stuff so you're not gonna see me do this a lot hopefully and I wonder if just spraying it on and leaving it sit will come off but I don't have a pump up sprayer that I feel like dedicating to this right now so, a little bit on a brush. Hi, right, bud. I'm gonna have Lance come back and rinse this in just a few minutes. Real happy with those results. A whole lot better than it was. Lance is over here on the final rinse and we're gonna wrap it up. That's gonna conclude the day. We'll catch you guys and take it tomorrow off. I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for following along.